Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day myself. Time for another look at the U.S. Senate race, and this time we're doing it for the state of Montana. And this is really a critical race for the Democrats. The Senate majority is so narrow, and if they're going to uh, have any luck at passing any kind of legislative agenda, they have to maintain the control of the Senate. And so this is considered to be a top priority, maintaining this seat, top priority for the national level of the Democratic Party. We're going to do it the same way that we have been doing it previously. I draw the cards in order of the candidate's surname. It's a basic five card draw. And just, you know, the reading is going to reflect the energy at the time of the draw. There's nothing saying that that energy won't change over time. We still have a long ways to go before the election. So, but if there is something that arises in the news that is major, I will certainly pull the cards again. So let's get this party started. The first candidate that we have up today is Tim Sheehy. Now he's an American businessman. He recently resigned from his company, Bridger Aerospace, where he's employed a lot of people in the Montana region. He is a veteran, former Navy SEAL. And of course, he's the Republican nominee for the Senate seat here in Montana. And he is challenging the incumbent Senator John Tester. So I did take a brief look at his campaign platform. It is very typical Republican talking points. A lot of it is kind of half truths, which you've come to expect right now. But the thing that really kind of irks me is, you know, about the how Biden undermined U.S. national security with the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Funny how they never mentioned the fact that the Afghanistan withdrawal is largely because Donald Trump sold out the national Afghan government, negotiated directly with the Taliban after telling them that he wanted America out of the country. ASAP. In other words, he undercut everything that the Americans had done and much of the failure in Afghanistan we can lay at the feet of Donald Trump, but our Republicans seem to have a bit of a blank when it comes to that. But Tim Sheehy is a retired Navy SEAL. And for a military man to not know the difference there tells me there's a little bit of flim flam there. He's not being honest. He's not being honest for shame for shame. What the cards have to say, and we're using the Chevron Chornay deck, as I have been using for the Republican candidates. And first card in this five card draw, we have... The Queen of Wands, but she's in a reverse position. Now, the Queen of Wands, when she is reversed, she's very kind of introverted and lacking in self-confidence, and she is got a jealous streak. Now, I'm not quite sure how this is going to factor in to the Senate situation. This doesn't necessarily reflect Tim Sheehy, but it could be a strong energy around him. It's kind of the opening energy. And it is added on to by the Three of Wands. And this is Jupiter Energy. This is expansion. Okay, so it's moving outward in its adventure and its opportunity. Very good card. Very good card. Someone to be able to see because foresight is part of the this card. It's being able to think strategically. Central energy in this reading not so great we have the tower card tower card of course is about calamity disaster destruction revolution things going to hell in the handbasket it's about the unexpected happening and knocking things into chaos so i would say that there's something coming up and 
during this campaign season that is going to really throw Tim Sheehy. But the obstacle card is the hanged man. And this says if he hangs on, if he doesn't overreact, if he keeps his cool and he kind of just sits in contemplation and deals with this from a sense of perspective, does not he takes action but doesn't get reactive. That very fine line. It's hard to thread that needle, but if he can do it, it will be all right for him. And final card in this reading for Tim She. We have the wheel, but it's in a reverse position. And the wheel, of course, is always about a turning point, right? What what is up? is down and what was down is up and it just the wheel continues to cycle but the wheel when it's presented in a reverse position this can indicate a resistance to change well that would be the republican party on mass um, but it can also give an indication of bad luck or some kind of misfortune so you know not particularly auspicious cards here to be starting out for the challenger tim sheehy now let us switch to the one world tarot and we will take a look at what the cards have to say for the democrat incumbent who would be john tester john tester is an american politician and a farmer he has served as a, the senior united states senator for the state of montana he was first elected in 2006 and this would be his fourth term if he is successful in getting it. Now, holding this seat in Montana is considered to be crucial for the Democrats in order to retain control of the Senate in 2024. And that is just vitally important. It is going to be an extremely difficult battle from the word get-go for the Democrats. And it is a, a must-win situation because... Without majority control over the Senate, they can't do anything about that Supreme Court. So, there you go. So, my first card up, if you will, for John Tester. That is the Lovers in Reverse. And this is a card that is about imbalance and disharmony and disconnection and being somewhat isolated. Well, I know that Montana is heavily Republican state and you know maybe there is a disharmony with his viewpoints in that of the general electorate and this card is crossed by the justice card and the justice card of course is talking about truth and consequences and about accountability and fairness and fairness under law and of course that is going to become part and parcel of his campaign right it is going to be something that democrats really push this time because of course we have reproductive rights not just abortion but reproductive rights in general that are under attack we have got supreme court issues there is you know this whole idea that the imperial presidency that is also going to come up so Justice is going to be a huge issue for anybody. Central energy on this reading is the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is a card about contemplation, rest, recovery, coming back. I wonder if this tower moment that we saw previously is something that impacts both of them, and they both have to take a step back to kind of deal with what's going on. And the obstacle, well, this is not a great obstacle half. The obstacle is the world card. And the world card, of course, is about wholeness and completion and accomplishment, which can be very good. But the world card is also like that pause between the end of one cycle and the beginning of the other. And I really don't like the feeling of this in this particular reading in that position. I don't think that does anybody any good. And the final card in this reading, we have the Three of Swords. 
And of course, that is a card about sorrow and defeat and heartbreak and betrayal. So that is not a very auspicious ending. So overall, if I was just taking a look at the energy as it's running today, I think John Tester is going to have a real strong run to try and get reelected, but I don't think he's going to be successful. I strongly suspect that Tim Sheehy is going to take the seat for the Republicans, which is really going to put the Democratic Party in a pickle when it comes to maintaining the majority in the Senate. So that's the reading for today. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button. It tells me that you're interested in content of this kind and of course makes me uh, more inclined to produce more of it. If you're enjoying this community, and there is a lovely bunch of people here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button and it'll let you know every time I upload a video. Right now I'm aiming for every second day, but you know the world continues to move on so there will be uh, times when I upload more than that in the run of a week just to keep up. And finally, the comment section. Feel free to use the comment section. I'm interested in your opinion about the subject matter. If there something that you would like to ask the cards, by all means throw it in there. If you have a particular election race that you would like the cards to take a look at, love to hear about it. If you have suggestions for other topics, I'm always game. If you just want to talk about tarot decks, I'm on for that too. So whatever you got, whatever your thoughts are, let me know and I'll do my best to deal with any requests that you have. So that is the reading for today and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.